Hello, my software engineers. Once we've gone through the process of creating our use cases and narrowing it down to our MVP, we've been able to create and define the pages or screens that we're going to need for our application. But how do we know what goes on that screen? That's the important question that we have to answer and the one that we're going to be answering today. So I'm going to use a very simple tool to help us mock up. In fact, the name of this application is mock plus. It's a simple free tool that you can access. There is a paid version that gives you some additional features if you want, but this is a simple tool we can use. Now we can also use tools like Figma and there's some others that are out there, but this is just a really simple example I want to show you. So what can we do with something like this? Well, this allows us maybe as a non-designer to be able to create something that we can then hand to a designer. So I have to determine what screens this is going to be. This is one of my main artboards. I can create additional ones, but I'm just going to work on one to show you how easy it is to use. You notice I just created a rectangle across the top with the title. That's easy. In fact, I'm going to show you how to do that again, because what I want to do is show what happens when a person's getting ready to leave reviews. So I'm going to take a rectangle and I'm just going to drag it over here and I'm going to expand it by clicking on the sizing handles. And then I have a property section over here on my right hand side. So I'm going to choose a fill and I'm going to make this kind of a gray fill and I can just kind of come down here and select. I want to be pretty much white, just a little bit offset, just so I can kind of tell. Same thing with my border. My border is going to be just a little bit darker. I want it solid, so you notice I have it solid. I'm going to go ahead and say two pixels just to kind of be safe, make sure it will be seen. I can use this slider to adjust how rounded my edges want to be, or I can come in here and type in a set value. Now you might say, well, this doesn't look very big. Well, this is also partially because I am zoomed out so I can see my whole thing. If I want to zoom in, I can hold my control key and then my scroll wheel and you can kind of see what it looked like at a bigger size. Now I'm going to duplicate this because I want to have two of these, one for the ones I've done and one for the ones I haven't done. So I'm going to come right here, copy and paste. And you'll notice that as I move the second one, if I'm in line with my first one, I can see that. And so I can kind of make some nice adjustments here. This is going to give me a good way to just easily create something that I can mock up and show someone. I'm going to take some text. And this says type something. Okay. So this is going to be surveys to be completed i'm going to center that you notice that there's a line that came up take a text over here drop it in place completed surveys once again notice that i can align it with my text and then I can have it aligned with the center of that box. So this makes it very nice and easy for me to work with. Once again, over on my right hand side, I can adjust things like color, font, font size, you name it. I've got a lot of stuff over here on my property panel. It makes it very, very easy to work with. Next, I'm going to just put a line so it looks like it's a header. change its width to three and I'm going to make this just a little bit darker. You can see now if I move off of it, you see it's clearly there. Once again, this sounds like a lovely thing to copy and paste. So I'm going to do control C and control V. If I'm on a Mac, I'm going to use command line that up like that. This is coming here pretty quickly. All right, I'm going to have some text, people that are done. So just once again, drag my text. 
This one I want to be a little bit smaller, so I'm going to choose 26 instead of 36. And I'm going to put in some fake names. John Smith. Now, what am I going to do? I'm going to do a copy and paste. In addition to John Smith, I'm going to have Mary Jones, like that. Copy and paste. And I'll have one more person, Fred Williams. You can select multiple ones like this. I can group things and align them automatically. Now, they're already aligned left, so there's nothing really there for me to look at. And then I'm going to choose however to distribute vertically. That's just going to make it so that they're evenly lined up. And I like that. Okay. I'm going to take this and copy these three names, paste them, and move this group over here. I can double click inside my text. James Jones. Okay, so I have three names, surveys to be completed, three that are completed. They're all different. That's good. I might want to change maybe their color just so. I can kind of see like, oh, I don't have to do these. That's a decision I can make later on. I have plenty of X room, so if I need to have more names, I can do that. But I'm also going to maybe want to have a button. Okay, click here to leave a survey. So I'm going to come over here, survey. And you'll notice it's kind of small by default. So I'm going to come over here, make that text just a little bit bigger. Make my box just a little bit bigger. Start survey. And make sure that's lined up. Line it up in the center. Copy and paste. Copy and paste. And now I have three buttons that go with my names and surveys to be completed. My list of surveys that are completed. Very, very simple. Now, if I'm not a designer, I can easily take this and send it to a designer. Well, there needs to be a graphic arts designer or a UI UX developer inside the application that we're going to be building. This is a good start for them. Now, one of the cool things that we could do is over here, you notice I, I select this. Next to my properties, I have an interactions. And I can actually create interactions and start describing, hey, this is what's supposed to happen. So this is a great little thing. I can really start to build up my application. I can build all my screens and I can take them and either use sometimes plugins to export things out to a web application or something else. Or I can give this to a designer or a UX UI developer and say, hey, this is what I'm thinking on. Can you modify and tweak this? Figma is very popular for this, but Mach Plus does a very similar job as well, as you can see. So this makes it very easy for me to design something hand it off to other people and I can keep going on or they can design it and I can review and say, Hey, wait a second. We're missing this in our, from our use case of what needs to show up and what needs to happen. So these are just some things I need to think about to make sure that I'm designing and building what I actually need. And I can do it very, very quickly, which is always the goal is to be able to quickly design something and get it out the door so that we can have a quick turnaround. Remember when we're working with our MVP, our end goal is to have our prototype or preferably even our very first version out the door and in customers' hands within four to eight weeks. That's it. So we need tools that can help make us move quickly with this. So keep this in mind. Take a look at it. If you need a link to us, I'll put a link in the video description below. For my students, it's on the assignment that is listed. Good luck in building your interfaces. We've got another video coming up on our next steps of building out our application.